What's good, y'all? You know what it is. Freestyle cooking with streets, man. Thanks for tuning in. Of course, I got another dinner that I'm going to share with y'all. Always easy, always simple, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We about to get it in. All right. So tonight we're going to do lamb chops, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Lamb chops. I actually I got a request to do the lamb chops, so that's just why we doing them, y'all. Okay, so we're doing lamb chops maybe with a uh, side of homemade mash. You feel me? Maybe some other sides we'll see as we go, y'all. We, we about to get it in, man, because I'm just ready to get it started, ready to bring out this recipe and get it popping. All right, now first off, got my lamb chops, right? This is about two pounds, you know what I'm saying? Not really thick, you know what I mean? That I just got from the local market, whatever. You know, some people get the... Uh, the rib chops, like the, that's shaped like a rib. I like like the shoulder chops, like these. So this is what I'm working with, y'all. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and marinate these chops and put them in the refrigerator for about a half hour. All right. Normally I will make my own marinade, as if you might have seen in one of my other videos where I make marinade for chicken or beef or whatever. But today we're just going real simple. So I got me some Italian dressing some robusto Italian dressing and I'm gonna just use that today y'all for my marinade all right so we're just gonna get this seasoning all up on the meat and get in the refrigerator for a half hour y'all okay so I'll go ahead and rub this all up in the meat You know, but like I said, you can make your own marinade, you know, some olive oil, fresh herbs that you like, you know, mix it on up and do your own marinade. But right now, you know, we're trying to do this quick, y'all. You know what I mean? All right, so I got those marinated up. Go ahead and put them in the refrigerator for a half hour, y'all. Y'all, now while we got our lamb chops up in the um, refrigerator marinating for a half we're gonna go ahead and prepare our potatoes for our mash. So I'm gonna get the stripping these potatoes so we can get our mash going, y'all. Feeling real good, man. Haven't had no lamb in a little while. You know, I usually cook, you know, I get a uh, leg and throw it on the grill and go in, man. But, you know. Somebody requested some lamb chops. I said, okay, I can do that. You know, of course, street style. That's how they want it, street style. All right, so we're going to get these potatoes peeled up, cut up, get them up in our pot, y'all. Okay, everyone, as you can see, I went ahead and chopped my uh, potatoes up after I peeled them into nice big chunks. You know, this was only about three potatoes, depending on... How many people you're serving, you will cook more or less if it's just two or, you know, so forth. So, I got right here for, you know, not cooking for a lot of people. I'm just trying to bring y'all to dinner tonight. Okay. So, now I want to go ahead and fill this up. Make sure the water covers the potatoes. And get it on boil for about 20 minutes, man, so it's soft and tender. You know what I mean? Let's do this. All right, y'all. Got my potatoes on high, ready to get them things to a boil. And we're just going to boil them. Should take about 15, 20 minutes on my plate, you know, because the induction plates, they get, they, they boil water real fast. But it should be about 15, 20 minutes just till when the potatoes are soft and tender, that's when we want to cut it off, y'all. All right? And once you add the water, add a little bit of salt too, y'all. Add a little bit of salt to y'all water. All right? Let's keep this thing moving. All right, y'all. It's been about 20 minutes. As you can see, I done drain my potatoes where they're tender. You know, the fork can go through them. And I'm going to go ahead and mash them up. I'm going old school, y'all, with the fork because I just I don't know where my potato masher is at. And, you know, it's one of them things where I always say... I'm out buying utensils and stuff for when I cook and 
I always say, yo, I gotta get a potato mash. But you know how you do that, and you always try to remember something? It's like, I gotta get a toaster, y'all. And I always say, damn, I gotta remember to get a toaster. Like, so that's how it is with the potato masher. I'll be like, oh my goodness, I gotta get a potato masher. But if you got one, use it. If you don't, you know, mash it with what you got. I'm going old school with a fork. Get it mashed up pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mash it up a little bit so I can add my other ingredients. All right, so I'm gonna mash it up like that. That's that's good enough for right now. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter. I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter. Like I said, depending on how many servings you make, depends on which how much you butter you add, how much. Uh, half and half you add how much how many potatoes you use like I said I'm only making a little small batch so got me some butter also got some I'm gonna put some um, some salt and for what I'm using this is about a teaspoon of salt half teaspoon of pepper all right I got my garlic, roasted garlic, and red bell pepper seasoning. You know, give my potatoes a little bit of flow. You know what I'm saying? All right, and I'm using some half and half. If you don't have no half and half, uh, you can use some heavy cream or milk if you don't have either. So, but make sure your uh, it's room temperature either warm. What I did was I heated my half and half up a little bit. Alright, so it'll be warm so I get a really good flow with my potatoes. Alright, so I'm going to get that up in there, pour a little bit. Go ahead. Start to mix it up. Like I said, y'all, I'm going old school with the fork, man. If you got to, you know. You know, just making a small... Small little bit, man. Not much. And as you can see, potatoes coming out real smooth. You know, cause the consistency is how I like it. You know, when you go on old school like that with the fork, it is a little bit more, you know, arm work put into it. You know, you gotta put gotta put a little bit of work into it, but it's all good for a good dish. All right, get these whipped up. All right, y'all, there we go. We got our mashed potatoes whipped up. Got the little garlic and bell pepper flavor going on in them. Flowing, y'all. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, put this in the microwave, and keep it on chill. You know, till we get our lamb ready. But before I, before I go to the lamb, I'm going to give y'all a bonus. I'm going to give... We're gonna do we're gonna do an extra side, y'all. Alright, we're gonna do an extra side, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it on Fruit Alcoco Streets. I told y'all it might be an extra side with these potatoes. So we're gonna do an extra side just real quick and fast, then get on to our lamb chops, y'all. Alright, y'all, boom. Here go the bonus, the extra side. <laughs> it's nothing but a carrot. I got some frozen peas and a carrot. Just wanna compliment the potatoes, you know what I'm saying? You know, just you know, fill out the whole meal. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my carrot up. This come out of my rainbow pack of carrots. You got regular carrots, frozen carrots, whatever you got. This came out of my little rainbow pack of fresh carrots. That's why it's the color it is. You know, the dark carrot. All right. The bonus, y'all. The bonus side, man. I mean, you could just do the lamb chops with the potatoes if you don't got no peas. And you don't have no carrots, but we just adding this real quick. Ain't gonna take no time. Let's do it. All right, y'all. Got my pan ready. Told you this ain't gonna take no time. Just a little bit of olive oil. That's all I need. Go ahead and add a touch of butter. That's all I need. Right, we're gonna head and let this heat up. 
Got it on medium high. And get our carrots and peas up in there, y'all. Freestyle cooking with streets, man. The bonus side, man. This is how I do it, man. I did kind of hype it up to that bonus side, like it was gonna be like, nah, just some peas and carrots, y'all. You know what I mean? Some extra veggies. Y'all, now that our pan nice and heated up, butter melted. Go ahead, get my carrots up in there. All right, get my peas up in there. There we go, y'all. Get my carrots and my peas up in there. All right, add a little bit of salt. Just about a half a teaspoon. Cause it's not a lot of it's not it's not a, it's not a whole lot. Add my garlic and bell pepper that I added into my potatoes. Maybe a half teaspoon of that. All right, y'all, and we're gonna do a half teaspoon of pepper. And that's it, y'all. Gonna go ahead and mix it up. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up, y'all. Mix this up, and I'm, I'm gonna just let this ride for like maybe five or six minutes. Cause I want the, I like, I like my carrots with a little bit of bite. I don't like them soft. I mean, I eat like frozen carrots or the carrots out the can or whatever. Like I'll eat soft carrots, but when I'm dealing with fresh carrots, I just like the. I just like to either saute them a little bit, make them a little bit crunchy. That's it, though. You know, but like I said, this is just complimenting our mashed potatoes. All right, so I'm gonna let that do its thing for five minutes, y'all. Get our lamb chips up out the fridge. Keep it pushing. All right, y'all. It's been about five minutes. Go ahead, take that off. And there we go, y'all. Just a little bit of peas and carrots to complement on my potatoes. All right, now it's time to get our lamb popping. Get this in the pan. Let's do it. All right, y'all. Got my pan cleaned up, ready to go. Got got the marinated lamb chops up out the fridge. And the first thing I want to do, I want to get my pan real hot, y'all, before I add my oil. All right. I'm going to be using some uh, safflower oil because, you know, it has a high heat point because I want it to be real hot. But if you don't have no uh, safflower oil, you no know, canola oil, whatever, whatever oil you got, but, you know, we want the pan to be real hot, though, y'all, real hot. All right, y'all, my pan is heating up. Go ahead and put a little bit of my safflower oil in there. Basically, just enough to get on the bottom of the pan for my pieces. Go ahead and mix it around. And I'm going to go ahead and get that another two minutes and let the oil get hot. Then we're going to get our lamb chops up in there, y'all. Got our pan hot. Let's get our chops up in there. Oh, yeah. You hear that sizzle? That means it's popping. Means it's popping, y'all. That's how you know it's popping when that oil's popping out the pan real crazy. You know I got it nice and hot. And now that I, you know, now that it's in the pot, I'm, I'm not even gonna mess with them, y'all. We're gonna do about five to six minutes on each side, and we're just gonna let it flow, y'all. I'm not gonna move it around, touch it, or anything like that, y'all. You know, it's been about three minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter. All right, add some butter. All right, also got like three garlic cloves. All 
Also got three garlic cloves. Just gonna chop them up in a couple pieces. Not even mince them up. And just get them up in there, y'all. For that flavor. Just get it up in there, man. If you want, you can throw the whole clove up in there, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. Y'all see it? We got that garlic popping. Yeah, y'all. Letting that ride for like five minutes on one side. Smelling real good. Like I said, I don't want to mess with it. Five minutes to be ready to flip. Where it's not sticking to my pan or anything, I can just flip it. Let's do it. Alright, y'all. It's been about five minutes. Go ahead and flip them over. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got a little crust going on. Oh, yeah, y'all. These lamb chops was coming. Yeah, go ahead and flip them over. Got the juices flowing. Yeah, we really got the juices flowing. Go ahead and tilt my pan, get some of them juices up. That's it, just tilt your pan to one end like that. And get those juices all over y'all lambs, y'all. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna let that do its thing on that side for five minutes. Looking real good, y'all. Looking real good. Freestyle cooking with streets, man. Let's do it. All right, y'all. We're about four minutes in. I'm gonna go ahead. I, I, I'm gonna cut a half a lemon. I'm gonna go ahead and give me some lemon juice up in there, y'all. Yeah. yeah, some fresh lemon juice up in there, y'all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Give it some more, couple more minutes. Boy, we almost there, y'all. Smelling real good, smelling real nice, man. Street style lamb chops, y'all. Let's do it. All right, y'all, it's been about five minutes. Ready to get my lamb up out of there. Oh, yeah, looking real good, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. That lamb looking real good, y'all. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that, y'all. Oh yeah, looking real good, y'all. Alright. Put that to the side. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just use the fine, of course. Make a little sauce over my lips. So I got some shallots already cut up over here. Go ahead and get that in there. And I also got some Amakumado dark tomatoes. All right, I'm going to let these rock and roll for about two minutes, y'all. Two minutes. All right, y'all, let that rock out for two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add some vinegar. Some balsamic vinegar. Get my deglaze on. Give me that nice good flavor. Try to let it reduce a minute. Add a bit of a little salt. Just a little bit, y'all. A little bit of pepper.
Our sauce is almost done. Bring the sauce together, y'all. Y'all got my sauce flow, and I'm going to go ahead and get my chops back up in the sauce and let them just flow with the sauce for a minute, y'all. I'm going to let my chops flow with the sauce for a minute, y'all. Yeah, just let them sop up the juices of the sauce. Oh yeah, it's smelling real good. About to get this plated up, y'all. Let's do it. Y'all, sauce is done. We straight to the plate up, y'all. Got the sauce done. Got it up in my bowl, ready to go. All right, let's get this plated up, y'all. Go ahead and get our mash. You see, you got the garlic from that. My seasoning, I can see the seasoning is all up in there, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it. Try to get a zoom real quick. Y'all see those seasonings up in there? Why? Wow. Alright. Get our mash up on there. Boom. Go ahead and get our carrots and peas. Just a few. Like I said, just a little bit, y'all. Just to complement the potatoes, man. All right, we're going to get our lamb chops up on there. All right, our plate coming together, y'all. Here go our sauce. Get a little bit of our sauce on there, y'all. A little bit of our sauce right there on top of our lamb chops. Get a little bit of it on our potatoes. Oh yeah. Got some fresh parsley. You know, garnish it with some parsley. Okay. All right. There y'all go. Streets. Freestyle cooking with streets. Lamb chops. Homemade mashed potato. With the sauce, with the carrots and peas, y'all. Ready to go, man. Ready to go. That's how we doing it, man, on a request for the lamb chops, man. Let's try to get a zoom. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, y'all. That's looking real good, man. I'm ready to go in and on it right now, man. Lamb chops is looking real juicy. With the sauce. And like I said, y'all got the carrots and peas complementing the potato. I mean, the uh, mashed potatoes, y'all. The peas and carrots complementing the uh, mash, y'all. Right? Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that notification, man, to keep these videos coming to y'all, man. These fresh dinners. Alright? Holla.